Welcome to the Global Symposium for Regulators 2023, GSR 23, here in Sham el Sheikh in Egypt. We're very pleased to be joined in the studio today with Isabel Mara, who is the Director General of JASOA, the Global Satellite Operators Association. Mm -hmm. Isabel, welcome to the studio. Thank you. Thank you very much, Max. And uh, it's uh, my pleasure to be here for the first year as a uh, representing, you know, the satellite industry as GSOA. So honored to be here. Excellent. OK, well, what are your impressions so far? Well, it's been, we've come a long way. I think, you know, the, the first uh, GSR I attended was uh, at the very beginning when industry started being invited. So for me, it's been, um, it's been a very interesting journey to be representing here as mobile operators when I was with the GSMA, then with the World Economic Forum on a you know, broader ICT capacity and now with, the, with satellite. Coming from the satellite industry, I would say that uh, what has struck me is uh, really the attention that is being paid and given to the satellite industry. Uh, and I think that is a, a very big evolution. Uh, and it's also a reflection, I guess, of what is happening in our sector, which is, uh, you know, I think you are the director of uh, the Radio Communication Bureau and the CPM meeting mentioned that there was a satellite was going for a rebirth. Uh, and I think we can really feel that that rebirth here as well with, you know, the discussions with the regulators um, and clearly being a WRC year for us, it's, it's absolutely critical to have these discussions with the with the regulators. Um, in particular, in terms of course of spectrum and the needs of, of spectrum, I think for it is not just about you know keeping or having the, the spectrum that we need for services that are being offered uh, in satellite, but it's really the new breadth of services, the plethora of services that are going to be offered and are started to be offering by NGSOs, GSOs. So the, the really the, the sort of the discussion, the dialogue with the regulators is is you know more important than ever for us and. I think somebody mentioned as a conclusion of, uh, you know, the, the meeting we had at the industry meeting, uh, the NCROs in, uh, on Monday, it's all about collaborative regulation. And I think one of the expressions that has struck me the most is this, that more and more we need collaborative regulation. We need to understand each other's needs on both sides because our common goal is to connect the 2.7 billion that are still not online, you know, on, on, and have no access to the internet. Um, and I do believe that collaboration is really key, public, private, but also within industry with verticals. I mean, we talk about inclusive digital transformation, which I think is really key. Uh, we have a, a massive role to play as satellite because we are the only one who can reach where, you know, hard to reach locations for underserved and served communities. And so I believe that collaboration with over vertical, uh, you know, such as healthcare, financial services, transport, agriculture, all of this is going to become critical as collaboration with mobile operators. We are seeing more, you know, terrestrial, non-terrestrial integration. Um, and so all these subjects, I think, have been touched upon, have been discussed here. And those are really areas that I think, you know, we need to also move forward to if we are really being serious about making a jump into this acceleration of, of digital uh, inclusion. Is there one key challenge, you think, for the global satellite operators at the moment? There are probably many. <laughs> um, a key challenge, I think, for us, clearly this year is, is the, you know, the focus again is on spectrum because it's WRC. It's to ensure that really we have enough spectrum, not just now, but for the services, you know, that we really need regulation that is going to be, uh, provides, you know, certainty for the services as well that we are going to be launching. As I said, you know, the industry is looking at a plethora of new services. You have, you know, satellite direct to handset, we have backhaul, satellite backhaul. We are looking more and more into IoT. We are becoming truly an industry that is going to connect IoT to areas where they could never go. So to us, in order to serve small enterprises in rural areas, to achieve all these goals, you know, the, the challenge is to have enough spectrum. And I think this is something that, you know, we, we really stand firm on. Um, but also again, for me, the point is, is really to ensure that with, with regulators, we really have this collaboration where we can really help each other serve the same goal that, that we have. At the conclusion to this symposium, what do you hope will be some of the key takeaways? Action. I think, you know, we talk a lot. Uh, we meet and talk a lot and then, you know, a lot you go to a lot of meetings where the same conversation happens. Uh, and I think, you know, your secretary general mentioned it yesterday. It's taken COVID really. Uh, and a pandemic to make an incredible acceleration where we connected more than 100 you know, million people during just that short period of time. If there is a will, there is a way. And I think now it's really time for us to accelerate. And a plea for me to governments is, I know there is a war, there is 
you know, a war, many wars, but one that is catching a lot of attention, very staggering inflation. Do not let connectivity lag behind. You know, connectivity still remains the oxygen, the blood life of every economy to strive and to grow. And we need a combination of technologies for that to happen. So, you know, pull out the strength of satellite, of mobile, of Wi-Fi, pull all of that together. And we are the first one as an organization to want this collaboration, to ensure that we all help each other and work towards the common goal. And I'll maybe conclude by saying that we need that collaboration to ensure that we have business models that are economically viable. This is not philanthropy. You know, we need, we need to be economically viable in order to do that. And in order to help reduce cost of services to citizens, to enterprises, to governments, and be efficient, uh, you know, in the delivery of our, of our services. So, Romero, Director General of JASER, thank you very much indeed for being with us today. Thank you very much. My thank pleasure. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And don't forget, we've got plenty more interviews on the ITU YouTube channel, as well as our podcast channels as well, SoundCloud, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts from. And uh, if you need more information, then please check out our website at www.itu.int. Thank you very much.